Kevin Taylor, and I grew up playing in Miami, Florida. Uh, my name is Godfrey Tenoff. I'm from uh, Peter Marisburg, South Africa. Uh, I've been playing professional soccer for 10 years now. My name is Tony Sane. Um, I've played in the A-League, the MLS, the Champions League, the World Cup, but I got my start here with the St. Paul Blackhawks in Minnesota. My name is Amos McGee. I'm the head coach of the Minnesota Thunder. When I was little, I had a lot of energy, and my mom put me on in the soccer to burn some energy off. So when I got home, I wouldn't be running crazy at the house. And I was in summer school, and I had an extra hour to fill, and my mom signed me up. I fell in love with soccer when I was three years old. You know, it's just, it's a sport that everybody plays in South Africa. Playing is a youth sport. Uh, you learn to love it, and meeting a whole bunch of different types of people. It, I just fell in love with it. And I met a great group of guys in St. Paul, and I played with the same guys from uh, when I was 12 to 19, and they're still my 10 best friends today. I'm actually a Cuban African American and growing up on the field you would hear kids running around just to get the player's mind off the game. Either you would see a Cuban kid call a black kid a, a nigger or you would hear, you know, vice versa, um, calling the kid other kid a spick. I was playing against a team uh, from Cape Town in Peter Marisburg and uh, one of the players on, my te on uh, the opposition team told me that I didn't deserve to speak English, I shouldn't be speaking English on the field, I should speak my native language because it wasn't worthy of me. 60, 70,000 people making monkey noises every time the Nigerian on the other team touched the ball for 90 minutes. Uh, it was re relentless. And for me, when I hear that from players on my team, being both African American and um, Hispanic American, it's, it, you know, it touches you when you hear one of your teammates saying that towards another player. Um, it really, you know, hit a chord with me because, you know, they were supposed to be my fans, but in doing that, you know, it showed me, you know, what their true feelings were about me. People kick the ball the same way, that they run pretty much the same way, that they have the same goals and the same interests, and they're just like me. I think that soccer has a unique place, certainly in the world, but also in the United States, as a way of getting people with different cultures together over a, a shared laugh, a shared fun, fun game. The best thing that you can always do is be a sportsman, to show your better side no matter what. Go out, meet somebody who's not like you, whose skin is different than you, whose background is different than you, and find out a little bit more about them. You know, Pele said it's a beautiful game. You know, the world is a global pace, and this is a global game, so, you know, be part of it. Keep it in front of you. Way to go, Beaner. <laughs> beaner, 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 Beaner. There, you know how these people play. Got about a minute, All coach. Right, thanks. White, let's bring it in. Come on, hustle up. Bring it in tight. All right, gang, this is it. The game we've been working all season for. Now remember our game plan. We're gonna start by pushing the ball up the left side to test the midfielder and the fullback, all right? Now also remember to make quick, precise passes. Don't hang on to the ball too long. These Hispanics play rough, okay? Any questions? All right, let's bring it in. Team on three. One, One two, two, three, three team. team!
can't believe they got another one with regulation just about to end. I know they're so much fun to watch. Say, why do you think Paul's parents don't ever want to sit with us? You know, I don't know, but my impression is they make no effort to integrate into the club. You see, now my boy Josh gets pulled out of the game because Tito shows up. Yeah, he shows up late and they put him right in anyway. On top of that, we've been with the club for five years, paying 100% of the fees. Now I'm asked to raise the money for Tito to play, and he takes Josh's playing time away. Yeah, it doesn't make much sense, does it? Not at all. What are we running, a soccer club or a social service organization? Touch it, Marley. Stop it. No, no don't stop it. Cynthia, yeah, don't, Marley. All right, you guys, knock it off. You're distracting me, and I've got to find this field. I mean it. I tell you, I can't believe we have to play a team from this part of the city. You know, I'm going to find out who's in charge of scheduling the teams we play so we don't have to drive into the city next year. Well, I think it's good that our kids play these teams because they're always a challenge. I just wish we didn't have to expose them to these low-income immigrant neighborhoods, you know? Well, you know, to tell the truth, I don't even feel safe around here. And besides, our fields are so much better. All right, everyone, listen up. I've got one more item before we head out today, okay? These are released from liability forms. Take that, pass it around, okay? You need to bring these home, have your parents read them and sign them, and bring them back to me. Now, I need these back by next week. Otherwise, you can't continue to practice, okay? Any questions? Coach, didn't we already do this? Spencer, that's a good question. Some of your parents may have already signed one of these at the beginning of the season. Now. This is a new version, okay? So they're gonna have to take this one home, or you're gonna bring it home to them, bring this home to them, have them read it and sign it and return it back to me, all right? Any other questions? Coach, my parents, they don't speak that much of English. What should I do? I, I'm sorry, Miguel. I, I don't have a translated version. Um, you're just gonna have to do the best you can okay. to translate it for them, all right? Yeah. Okay. Any other questions? No. All right. Don't forget, I need these back by next week. All right? OK. See you next week. Bien. Bien? Sí. Sí, también tienes que firmar este papel. ¿Y esto de qué? Para para que yo pueda estar en las prácticas. ¿Pero está en inglés? Sí. Y, y el coach dijo que no tiene un papel para español, por eso. Ok. I'm gonna get you, chick. John, John, come here. Now, I just heard you call a player a name. You know what my rules are. Yeah, coach. Don't let it happen again. Yeah, coach. All right, get out there. You know, if it was anyone else besides John, coach would have followed his rule and pulled him out of the game right away. Yeah, being the best friend of the team has its advantages. And don't trip on your break, boys. 
anything, man. Hey, you just stole the time. Hey, Gaines, can you keep it down a little bit for me? I need to make two more phone calls, OK? okay. Guys, keep it down for me. Hi, Connie? This is Doug, Spencer's coach. I'm good. How are you? Great, great. Say, I wanted to call and see, did you get the, the message that our field was changed from Murray to Dunning tonight for tonight's game? Oh, you did? OK, good, good. Um, well, great. I'll see you there. OK, thank you. Bye-bye. Guys, go. Uh, one, more, one more call, OK? Thanks. Hello, Roberto? Hello? Hello, Roberto? Roberto? Hello? Hello? Roberto? Oh, I wish these people could speak a little English. Hey, coach. Hey. Say, I see those immigrant players, they didn't make it to practice again today, huh? No, they didn't. I was just looking at how many practices everyone's missed so far this season. So why is it that these Somali players, they don't make practice? I don't get it. I don't really know. Uh, coordinating transportation hasn't been easy, but... Well, I guess if you're interested in playing on our team, you figure out a way to get here on your own. I don't think it's quite like that, well, I but... just, I question how committed they really are to our team. 